Armchair Cat, home of brilliant children's books. Meow! Hello and welcome to another exciting book review and today I am going to be reviewing Heaven is for Real. Now, this is a true story so let's, what it, let's see what it says on the blurb. When, when four-year-old Colton Burpo made it through an emergency appendicitis, his family was overjoyed at his miraculous survival. What they weren't expecting, though, was the story that emerged in the following months, a story as beautiful as, as it was extraordinary, a detailing the little boy's trip to heaven and back. This true story retold by his father by using Colton's unacquiredly simple words offers a glimpse of the world that awaits us. Whereas Colton says, nobody is old and nobody wears glasses. Heaven is for real will forever change the way you think of eternity, offering the chance to see and believe like a child. Now, that is an amazing true story. And this is written by Todd Burpo. So it's about a four-year-old boy who went through appendicitis, which is a thing right here, if you can see. His appendix burst and it was it was a massive emergency that he had to, to be raced to hospital and his family didn't know what was gonna happen or what was gonna what was going on. So poor year old Colton had appendicitis and his appendix burst, so he had to be raced into an emergency hospital to get it out so he'll survive. But when his family are overjoyed by his, by his miraculous recovery of the appendicitis, they realise that Colton wasn't, was, didn't actually survive, as in like, stay alive. He actually didn't die, but he went, he went to visit heaven, so he did survive, but then he went out of his body. So that is an amazing thing, that Colton, four-year-old Colton, went up to heaven and had an amazing story. And that he actually saw God and all this and that. And he says that no one's old there, so there's something to wait for eternity. And when his mum and dad find out that he actually went out of his body but didn't die he said the angels sang to him because when he was floating out of his body i bet he was really scared but he says that he was sitting on jesus's lap and the angels were singing to him which is amazing and he also he also says to his mum and dad on what he saw in heaven all the amazing experiences he had and he was only up there for two minutes and two minutes I mean all that experience in two minutes but that's how long he said he was actually up there because time travels different in heaven than on earth so what an amazing experience for a young boy who who had an amazing experience told his mum and dad that he saw God and also that and these angels sang to him which is really amazing and that he goes through all these experiences in heaven while he's while his mum and dad are worried sick about him because he was actually well, they thought he was going to die because his appendix burst and there was no chance of him surviving. But, and a miraculous thing happened, he actually goes to heaven and he explains everything in this book, which I find is absolutely extraordinary. Now, let me tell you a bit about his family. 
So we've got his dad, who wrote the book, Todd Burpo. We have his mum, Son Sonia Burpo. And we've got Cassie, who is, who is his big sister. They realised that Colton, that he, that he actually went to heaven and experienced a lot of things. And how amazing is that? Because this is a true story that happened to a four-year-old boy who was well, who, who didn't, said he didn't die, but he went to heaven and saw God. And that, I find that that's amazing because, I mean, I've always dreamt of knowing what heaven was, was like. And then you finally get a tiny bit of a glimpse in this book on what it was like and how people are actually not old they or like how they don't wear glasses, how everyone is absolutely healed and free and they're with God for eternity. And Colton says he didn't want to go back to earth because heaven was so fun and he wanted to stay forever. But God had something else in mind for him. He, he, he said that he needs to go back to earth so he can tell people about his experience and that maybe more people will start to believe in God. So Colton, well, he was he was a bit sad about that, but he was also happy because he got this amazing experience that he got to go to heaven without dying, which is amazing. And the angels sang to him, so I just find that incredible. There's also a Heaven is for Real film um, which I have not seen yet, but I bet it's not as good as the book because the book really shows pictures and like the real thing. You can really imagine it. And if you, and I, I really do recommend this book because when I, when I read it, I was absolutely blown away. And I just think it's amazing and I'll just read this little bit of a, a speech mark message of what, of what Colton and his mum were talking about. Do you remember the hospital, Colton? Sonja asked. Yes, mummy, I, rem I remember, he said. That's where the angels sang to me. And that was the start of when Colton told them everything he saw in heaven, like he saw he saw like the people who, who, um, who died that was in his family. He saw, he saw Mary. He saw all the people from the Bible there, or let's just say most of them. And he had an amazing experience. And I don't want to give away too much of this book because there's a lot, there's a, oh, sorry, there's a lot going on in this book that I really think that you should find out for yourself and I just want to spread the message saying, well, amazing and his dad wrote this book for him so everyone can read it and know this little boy's experience. So I would definitely recommend this book to you and I just hope that when you read this you'll realise that there's more to life than this. That God loves you, he wants to he wants to be with you and well he he wants to spend eternity with you in happiness, laughter, everything. And I just I just um I just hope that you'll really enjoy this book and also that it will it will explain to you about a bit more things and I will definitely give this five stars. I just think it was really good and I think that well this is a really good book and that I think people would really enjoy it if you gave it a go and read it. Um, and don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell and you'll never miss another episode. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.